Hi, I'm Sophia and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a PO competency. So first you walk into the room and you perform hand hygiene. Then you wait for your instructor to give you your assigned patient. Which is Alan Covey. Okay, so now we know that we have Alan Covey, so we're going to go over to the computer and check DocuCare. Okay, so now that you've logged on to DocuCare, you're just going to verify your patient again. So here we have Alan Covey. We're going to see if he has any medic. I'm sorry, drug allergies, and which he does, it's iodine and uh, shellfish. We are going to verify his date of birth, which is 12XX. His diagnosis is pneumonia, and he is a full code. So we're going to read the notes. And here it says, Alan Covey called the nursing station asking if he could have medication for his anxiety. It is currently 1400. So next we are going to go to orders to see um, if he has any dietary restrictions. So I scroll down and here we have his diet is two uh, grams of sodium and low cholesterol. And also here it says regular with no noted restrictions. So he can take oral medications. Next, we're going to click on the MAR, sorry about that, and see if any me medication is due for anxiety. And so here we have this medication and another name for it is Xanax. Every four hours PRN or as needed for anxiety, not previously administered. So this is, in, it's safe to admi administer to the patient. So here we're going to click on this little stethoscope to get all of our information. And so we're going to verify that it's the, the correct um, uh, medication and the the correct dose as well as safe range. And here we have indications and a box warning. So we would wanna read that and we wanna make sure that this right here, it treats anxiety and panic disorders, but we're administering it for um, Alan's um, anxiety. And here it reads that don't break or crush extended release tablets. So we are not to um, crush or break the, the, the medication. And so here we're going to read any adverse reactions. So some are um, insomnia, irritability, irritability, depression and suicide, uh, and respiratory depression. And so we are going to note that or keep that in mind. So before we administer this medication, we need to um, count his respirations and make sure that they are within normal limits. And so here we have the drug on drug interactions, the box warning. So we would read that as well as the contraindications and cautions, uh, nursing considerations, and as well as a uh, patient teaching when you get into the patient's room, you are to um, inform the patient about this medication and ask him if he'd like to take it or not. So this medication with opioids, because it can increase um, the chances of uh, having a respiratory depression and sedation. Okay, so now that I've looked up all my information and giving, given my um, instructor the information of like side effects and assessment needed and what the medication does, I'm going to um, do my first check, uh, going over to the Pixis and pulling the medication. So I've logged on, and so I'm going to click remove, remove item. And now I look for my patient, Al Alan Covey. Type it in. I'll type it in for an easier search. So here I have my patient, Alan Covey, and just to verify, I have Alan Covey and date of birth is 12XX male and it says right there on um, DocuCare. So I'm gonna select the correct patient, hit next, and then I look for the uh, medication that we, we will be administering. So it's Xanax and it's to confirm 0 0.25 milligrams and it says on DocuCare as well that the medication we're administering is uh, 0 0.25 milligrams by mouth. So I select that medication, and here I'm doing my first check. So it says that it's in B2, C2. So I close that up. And so this is my first check. So I see that the medication is for my patient, Alan Covey. Um, drug is Xanax and the dose is 0 0.25 milligrams and I checked the medication with the Pixis as well as DocuCare and um, it's given by mouth at 1400. And if I were to not have a MAR with me, I have all my medication and information uh, written down on a piece of paper for verification.
So now that I have my medication, I will get a, um, a cup to put the medication in and I log out of um, Pixi. I'm going to enter the patient's room and before I do that, I'll perform hand hygiene and um, introduce myself and then get their uh, verify their name and date of birth and any allergies that they have. Hello. I'm Sophia, I'm gonna be your nurse today. Can I just have you verify your name and date of birth for me, please? Alan Covey, one, two, XX. And it says that you have an allergy of iodine and shellfish, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be administering um, your um, anxiety medication, Xanax. Okay, so have you taken Xanax before? Yes. Okay, just to um, refresh, I'm gonna go over some major side effects. So some side effects that come with taking Xanax is um, drowsiness, depression, uh, suicide and uh, decreased respiration rates so I do have to assess you for that um, so at this moment in time I would assess her um, respiration rates and her respiration rates are within normal limits they're uh, 16 with all that information that I just gave you would you still like to take this medication a Xanax yes okay Okay, so after verifying with my patient that they would still like to take this medication, I'm on to my second check. So I verified their name and date of birth, which is Alan Covey, uh, born 12XX. So now I'm going to verify the medication. So the drug is um, Xanax. The route is by mouth and the dosage is 0 0.25 milligrams. Um, it is safe to give. It's a PRN uh, medication and this, per this patient has not been previously administered so it is safe to give at and I will be administering it at 1400. I've already assessed the patient for their respirations and they are within normal limits. So now that I've done my second check, I'm moving on to administering the medication. So on the MAR, I would click administer. But before this, I, am, I have to do my third check again and verify the six rights of um, administration. So here I'm going to click the scan the patient's barcode, but before I do that, I have them verify their name and date of birth and any allergies that they have first. So, hi, Alan, can I please have you verify your name and date of birth for me, please? Alan Covey, 12XX. And then can I have you um, uh, verify your allergies for me? Iodine and shellfish. Okay. So now I scan the patient's barcode. And I come here and I'll scan the medication barcode, but before that I have to um, verify the medication um, again so I, we have our medication which is Xanax um, by mouth and the dose is 0 0.25 milligrams and um, it is safe to give um, um, because it has not been administered uh, previously and her respirations are within um, normal limits so I scan the medication So after you've scanned your um, medication, you want to look over the, um, the MAR again just to ensure that you have everything correct because, because depending on the EHR that you are using, um, it will alert you if you're giving too little of a dose, too high of a dose, or the, the, the correct dose. So I'm overlooking my information and it looks like I am giving the correct dose that needs to be administered. So now I will perform hand hygiene and put some gloves on before administering this medication to my patient. Okay, Alan, so I have your Xanax. I'm just gonna raise your bed a little bit and raise the head of the bed. Tell me when you are comfortable. Is that okay to administer your medication like that? Keep going. Keep going. Okay, this is good. Okay. Thank you. So now I verified everything, and so now I'm gonna open up the medication package and dump it and hand my patient some water. Here's your pill and some water. Okay. Good. So now at this time I would go back to or take the gloves off and perform hand hygiene once again. I'd go back to um, the MAR and document that um, that I've, I've verified everything, the uh, patient, the drug, dose, route, and time. 
document and document any additional notes such as the, her um, the respiration rate which was 16 within normal limits and the time that it was given at uh, 1400 and then I click done and at this point um, you alert your patient to um, the call light so um, here is your call light and then I will be coming back within 30 minutes to um, um, assess you again to make sure that your respiration rates are within normal limits.